We're going live, Arizona, on KPXQ 1360 AM, the Christian station. You're listening to The Michael Crawford Show. Oh, wow! It's not just radio, it's television. You're also watching. <laughs> Get excited. Hello, Arizona! I'm Michael Crawford, and you're listening to The Michael Crawford Show, live on KPXQ 1360 AM, the Christian station. Wow, Arizona, get excited. It's all about Romans 8:28 today. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. Have you ever worked with someone or for them or had a partner that walked so much in the flesh and not the spirit? They always took all the credit, never wanting you to get ahead or try to go to the next level. They always try to keep you down, thinking it was them that was doing it. But they were never side by side. They never worked the long hours you did. They never had to call their wife and say, honey, go ahead and feed the kids. I won't be home. I got another deal to make. Well, let's talk about it. It's right. We got to do it now. We've got to get that out. Call right now, 602-274-1360. With God's help, we will overcome any challenges we face. Today, I want you to start meditating on thoughts such as, I have everything I need to fulfill my destiny. God accepts me. He approves me. I know God has good things in store for me. I'm valuable. I have royal blood in my bloodline. I have a bright future. My best days are ahead of me. You see, our destiny is not determined by our critics. Faith doesn't always instantly deliver us, but it will always carry us through. Anytime we obey, a blessing will follow. God is working behind the scenes in our lives. Happiness does not depend on our circumstances. It's a choice that you make. And when you choose God, you don't ever have to worry or be fearful about your future. People that are fearful don't have the faith. And if they don't have the faith, they haven't chose God. If you choose God, you will have faith. And when you have faith and you have God, you shouldn't fear anybody or anything but God. You see, my Christian brothers and sisters, as it is written, Romans 8, 11, the same spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in us. Verses 14 and 15, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Father, Father, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. The Bible tells us that maintaining a close walk with God is a command. We must obey, not merely a suggestion we may want to consider, because nothing that you have done is too much for the mercy of God. Philippines 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So call me right now, 602-274-1360. I want to know, are you trying to break away from the person that always walks in the flesh and not in the spirit? The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. The curse is behind any kind of defeat, sin, mistakes, wrong choices, fear, worry, constant sickness, unhealthy relationships, or bad attitudes. Please understand that those are all things from which you have already been set free. But here's the catch. If you don't appreciate and take advantage of your freedom, you don't get your thoughts, your words, your attitudes going in the right direction, it won't do you any good. You may be sitting back waiting on God to do something supernatural in your life. But the truth is, God is waiting for you. You must rise up with your authority. Have a little backbone and determination and say, I am not going to live my life in mediocrity, bound by addictions, negative and defeated. I'm not working with or for any person that walks in the flesh. No, I will not, I repeat, work for anybody that does not walk in the spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen. No, I'm going to do like the Apostle Paul and start pressing forward. I'm going to take hold of everything God has in store for me. Amen? Amen, brother. I want you all out there to say, now listen to me, turn up your radios. I want you to say it so loud, I want to hear you downtown here at 24th Street in Camelback. I belong to God and he loves me. I belong to God and he loves me. Say it now. 
Show me that Christian maturity. I belong to God and he loves me. I don't care if you're walking through a grocery store with the Walkman on. I want to see Christian maturity. I love God and he loves me. I belong to God and he loves me. I want you to start watching for the signs of God's love. Ephesians 3, 16 through 19, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is in the breadth and the length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that he might be filled with all the fullness of God. Say it. I belong to God and he loves me. Show me Christian maturity. Say it. I belong to God and he loves me. I want to hear you, Arizona. I love God. I love God. Amen. I love God. I belong to God and he loves me. Psalms 86, 17. Show me a token for good that they which they hate me see it and be ashamed because thou, Lord, hast hope in me and comforted me. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Show me Christian maturity. Say it. I belong to God and he loves me. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? I ask you again, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, no. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor dead demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen wow. Amen. Arizona, get excited. Wow. I have missed you. I hope you have missed me. If you have, call in 602-274-1360. I want to take this time to introduce my guest. Whoa, are we going to have a show here at 24th Street in Calabac at the headquarters of KPXQ 1360 Amen. Amen. Preach it, brother. Preach oh, it. baby, it's true. I just feel it. From the Jesus top, in the house. From the top of my head to the tip of my toes, glory be to God. I feel the Holy Spirit in here. Amen. Amen. Then let me hear it one time. Say it. Amen. I, oh, yes. I belong to God and God loves me. I belong me. to God and he loves me. Amen. Glory. Praise hallelujah. You, Jesus. My Praise world, you, Jesus. My world-renowned guest from the Prison Life magazine, Mr. John Humphreys and Mr. <laughs> and Mr. Stephen Lewinowski. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Oh, get excited. Stephen, tell me. Tell our listeners. Why does Michael Crawford ask you and say he wants you to start meditating on thoughts such as, I have everything I need to fulfill my destiny. God accepts me. He approves me. I'm valuable. I have royal blood in my bloodline. I have a bright future. Why am I telling everybody to start meditating on that? Brother, because that's a biblical concept. That's uh, right out of the Bible. Those are scriptures out of the Word of God. And we know that God's Word is a living, breathing uh, manifestation of God. And as we meditate on these things, these things grow within us and they become us. Because what do we think about all day? We think about the negative things. We think about all this garbage that's pumped into our heads through, through radio stations, secular, through television stations, secular, through everything that we see day in and day out. It's always negative. It's always the world. It's always uh, this is coming to an end. That's happening. Gas prices are going up. Food prices are going up. Uh, the only thing that's going down is everybody's uh, uh, image of themselves. And really the one thing that should be going up is everybody's image of themselves in Christ Jesus. And until Amen. the church wakes up, until they have a revelation, oh, oh, as you've it. been talking about, until they have a revelation, until they allow God's word to be breathed inside of them, we're going to continue to have dead churches all throughout this country. And we're going to continue to be mocked and scorned and laughed at by people who say, and they call themselves Christians, and they have no joy. And the people like you and the people like me who are crazy over God, who oh, do who things called Radio Jesus, the Michael Crawford Show, uh, <laughs> live here on the air, 274-1360, uh, 602-274-1360, call in. 
the people who are crazy over God, we're called goofballs. You know, <laughs> the people who are crazy Pray for over me, God. I get worse. <laughs> the people who are crazy over God, like you, Michael. You know, you have a ministry. Uh, people think that you're a car salesman. You've got a tent making ministry, and people think because you're so over the top over God that you got to be phony because they're so buttoned up, suited down, tight lipped, stuck to their seat, not getting up not shaking it for God, not praising the Lord who made everything, not giving him his glory, because you're so over the top for God, they think you're a phony. Oh, oh let me tell you something. Any man who possesses the raw courage to declare his faith openly is divine. His works will be blessed, amen? Amen, amen brother. Oh, man, they can call me crazy. They can call me goofy. They can call me a radical. They can call me fanatical. But I'm telling you one thing, I love God. I belong to God and he loves Jesus. me. I belong to God and God loves me, amen? amen. Oh amen. man, I've said it for years. I'll say it till he brings me home. I will always say it. It doesn't matter how many trials or tribulations you go through. You will come out okay if you remember one thing. God will never leave you. God will never leave you. You are the one sometimes have to wake up and get the backbone and have the conviction and have that conviction fortified that yes, you will walk in the spirit and never deviate. And when the times that we get to where we want to deviate, it's time then to seriously sit down, go to your knees, go to your knees and pray to God and ask him, you need help. You need help. Call right now if you feel that way, 602-274-1360. Wow! Stephen and I have been praying, and a lot of other people have been praying about uh, your new dealership, and we've actually gone to locations and prayed over the area. Anointed them Tell us oil. about Avondale Kia. Oh, <laughs> baby! I thought you would never ask! <laughs> yes, Arizona! Get excited! I have purchased Avondale Kia and Avondale Subaru as the 8th, August 8th, you will see the signs go up. It'll be called Michael Crawford Kia and Michael Crawford Subaru. Wow, doesn't that sound good, amen? Glory be to God. And how we, it happened, it's, it's all about Romans 8, 28. Tell me, when, the, when there was times when I was, you know, thinking of myself and uh, people told me that I was irresponsible. They told me, why would you leave a position like you had? Why would you do something like that? And I said, I did it because I've asked for so much more for my family betterment. God wanted me to do that. And the partner I had wouldn't give it to me. So when I went to him and asked him, okay, that, hey, I think I'm going to, you know, go out and buy a dealership, he could handle it. He could handle it. He says, whoa, that's the case. I don't even want you here now. And I thought, prayed about it. God said, that's fine. Gave me the strength to pack up my office and go ahead and go. Because I knew, I knew that he had a direction for me because my heart was convicted to him. It wasn't convicted and fortified for, for, for the dealership. It was for God, Arizona. That's what I am. And if people have. Stephen's right. They'd probably call me a lunatic. You know, he's, he's freaky over Jesus. <laughs> That's okay. Keep saying it. You know what? Because I am crazy and freaky over Jesus. I love Amen. Jesus. I'm telling you, it's okay. It's okay to say that. So what I didn't think, when I thought time was, was running out, and where was my career going? All of a sudden it came. And Mr. John Grant, God, put it on John Grant's heart to call me and sell me Avondale Key and Avondale Subaru. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory, Amen. glory, hallelujah. So everyone out there listening, August, <laughs> August 8th, you'll have Michael Crawford Kia. And the new say, instead of saying, I want to see ya in a Kia, you're going to hear, always remember, Michael Crawford wants to see ya in a Michael Crawford Kia. Oh, Amen. wow. Amen. Call me right now. 602-274-1360. That's 602-274-1360. And just tell me, are you excited? Are you ready to upgrade your, your, your vehicle? Are you ready? And everyone out there listening, I've sold you a vehicle. Please call in right now because I want you to do this. Even if you're not ready to purchase a vehicle, I want you to come over and just give me a hug. Oh, wow, I'm telling you. Now, make sure you say that uh, phone number again because I feel a little bit... 602-274-1360. Uh, 602-274-1360. We're here. This is a live radio show. And if you're listening and you're not calling in, that don't count. So you got to call in. So God bless you. And this isn't just about a car dealership. This I like to call this Radio Jesus. Amen. Because ever since I've known radio this man Jesus. on this radio station, it's all about Jesus. Oh, wow, I love it. Say it. We're going to break right now, but we're coming right back. So you better get excited. 
I better hear everyone out there in Arizona saying, I belong to God and he loves me. Get excited, Arizona. We're coming right back. Get excited, Arizona. We're back. This is Michael Crawford, and you're listening to The Michael Crawford Show live on KPXQ, 1360 AM, The Christian Station. Any man who possesses the raw courage to declare his faith openly is divine. His works will be blessed. Amen? Amen. Well, let's go right out to the callers. I love that. I love coming back from break, and Gil tells me the board is lit up. So I guess our first caller is Dana. Dana, are you there? Hello, Michael Crawford. This is Dana. How you doing today? Hey, God bless you, Dana. God bless you, Michael. It's great to hear your voice. It's even greater to hear your own radio show. Absolutely love it. Michael, I just wanted to call and tell you I love your show. I love listening to you. And I can't speak more highly of someone who also runs a business. And I'm so excited that you're opening up Michael Crawford, uh, Kia Subaru, because we're going to come see you, Michael. We've dealt with you over the years, me and my family. We're going to come down and see opening weekend, and we're going to make some multi-car deals with you because we trust you and we believe in you, and you always deliver, and you're always fair. I'll tell you what, the only thing missing is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not missing, Michael. He's not missing. No, he's not, but I mean, that sentence, I want to put Jesus, the, I put the Cardinals, but then I've got to say, Michael Crawford, Kia Subaru. Absolutely, Michael. <laughs> I'm so fired up. Congratulations. The right thing happened. You... You belong in having your own, call your own shots, run your own business. We do nothing but wish you the best, the most success, which I know will come your way. Michael, we look forward to seeing you Saturday, August 9th. God bless you, Dana. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and let's go Cardinals! Go Cardinals! Goodbye, Michael. Bye, Dana. Thank you. Oh, wow, I love that guy. He's been a customer. His name is Dana Rayhorn. He is, uh, oh, I hope he didn't mind. Him. I don't think he'd mind. God love him. He called him my show. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i say it, but I, but I love the guy. He's great. I've sold all his family, and he's been waiting. He's been uh, uh, calling me, you know, uh, periodically just saying, you know, what's the update? Give me the update. Come on, we're waiting. My car's already be, uh, t uh, you know, traded in. I, I want to upgrade. I mean, let's go, Michael Crawford. Uh, so that's awesome. He listened to the show today, and he, and he heard the news because we disclosed it today. Amen. Well, I know that there's people out there, there are Christians out there that have been waiting to hear uh, from Michael Crawford for weeks and weeks. And I know uh, as I bounce from church to church around the valley, uh, people hear me on the radio station and they're always uh, asking, you know, what happened? And when's he going to be back on the radio? And when's Radio Jesus coming back on? <laughs> and I mean, I I'm, talking, I'm talking people from uh, nurses at the Mayo uh, the uh, banner, uh, airline pilots, you know, housewives, uh, doctors, lawyers, and everything in between. I love it. You Praise know? God. So Praise God. We need to get the word back out that uh, Michael Crawford's back on the air. Praise alive. the Lord. Amen. Wow. Let's go right out. Our next caller is Edward. Edward, are you there? Edward? How are you? How's everybody doing? We're doing fantastic, Edward. How are you, my friend? I'm glad to hear you back on the radio. I've talked to you before, Michael, and I just want to let everybody know out there in Radio Land that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Glory, if hallelujah. Him, if we make him our leader, if we put God before anything else in business or in, in, in our nation, he will lead us righteously, justicely. And if we don't, we will be run by tyrants. That is what Benjamin Franklin said. And we want everybody to know to vote. Make sure that we get the right president in there. Pray for those who are in authority. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And pray for all your loved ones that are lost, friends, people that you work with. Continue to pray for them, that God opens a door where there seemeth to be no door to be opened, but they are in need. They need a Savior. And Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Amen. Savior. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wow. Oh, Edward, I have to go to break, but I wish I didn't have to. Wow. I could sit here and worship Jesus with you all day long, 24-7. Amen. Edward, th thank you so much. God bless you. Get excited, Arizona. You're listening to The Michael Crawford Show live on KPXQ, 1360 AM, the Christian station. Oh, Arizona, I don't care if I'm getting hoarse. Oh, I'm coming right back. Get it! 
excited, Arizona? You're listening to The Michael Crawford Show live on KPXQ 1360 AM, The Christian Station. Wow! Say it, Arizona. Show me Christian maturity. I belong to God and he loves me. Wherever you are, if you're walking down a street right now with a Walkman, if you're at home with your family, if you're working on a Saturday today in the office, just you with a couple of the girls or a couple of the co-workers, I say it again, my Christian brothers and sisters, show me Christian maturity. Say it loud at the top of your lungs. Shout it out. I belong to God and he loves me. Wow. Hey, get excited. Amen. Michael Crawford Kia in the Avondale Auto Mall. Doesn't that sound great? Michael Crawford Kia and Michael Crawford Subaru were the I-10 and the 101 meet in the Avondale Auto Mall. Wow, Arizona, get excited. Oh, let's go out to the callers again. We don't want to keep them waiting. Phyllis from Phoenix, are you there? Phyllis, are you there? Yes, I am. How are you, Phyllis? I'm blessed and highly favored. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Wow, I'm telling you something. There's nothing better than being in God's favor, amen? Yeah. Well, I called in to say, Michael, you probably don't even remember me. My, my son had died just before I brought my daughter into your, to uh, the Peoria office. I mean, I mean, excuse me, the Peoria dealership. And everybody had denied my daughter uh, to get a car. And she has six children, all boys, and she, she just needed a car. My son had died, and he was doing a lot of mm-hmm. running around for her and taking her places. So she had to have a car, and we explained that to he, I talked to Michael right up front. I mean, it wasn't like he was in a back office and hidden away, and you couldn't t- talk to him. But he said, okay, we're going to get you into a car today. She got a car that day. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Phyllis, Praise God, God love you. Praise God. I do remember you now. I remember this, uh, you know, I don't, I'm trying to, uh, you know, remember your, what you look like. I do remember your name. I remember the story. Uh, and I tell you, it really touched me. And, 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 and gentlemen and, and ladies and gentlemen that's listening right now, uh, this is a very strong woman. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this is a, a proven fact that, you know, faith will carry us through. Faith yeah. will carry us through. Amen, Phyllis? Man, but what I wanted to also say is that Michael wanted to give her a brand new car. She <laughs> could, because he had one there, he was going to put her into that car for the price that she could afford, but the car was too small for her family. But so I'm just here to say as a testimony to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that Michael is working for the Lord. Amen. 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 Glory, hallelujah, Phyllis. Woo! Woo! God love you, Phyllis. Phyllis, Jesus. now make sure you spread Jesus. the gospel to all of our brothers and sisters that it's Michael Cropper Kia open up August 8th in the Avondale Auto Mall. Formerly Avondale Kia is now Michael Cropper Kia. Wow, doesn't that sound great? Yes, it does. And I'll be in to see you because I'm in a car that i got to get out of. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, amen. Oh. Phyllis, God love, love you. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm glad to call in. Thank you, Phyllis. I'll see you soon, God, okay? God bless you, dear. We love you. After the eighth. All right, you got it. God bless you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you. All right, let's go out to Anthony. Anthony, are you there? Anthony from Peoria, are you there? Hey, hey Michael C. Crawford, the man. <laughs> hey, hey, Anthony, how are you today? Thank you. You know, Michael, God has answered our prayers, man. I'll tell you something. And I want to thank KP. XQ1360 for having you on. Thank it's you, one Anthony. One of the happiest days of our life that we heard that you're going to open up Michael Crawford, Kia, and Subaru. I have to tell you a little story, Michael. The other day I was, took my granddaughter over to the other place where you used to work, and we asked for you, and they say, we don't know where he is. He's not here no longer. Well, since we bought so many cars from you, we want to deal with you. We've been hearing through the bird, the little bird has been landing on our window saying that you're going to open up a place. <laughs> and I, I love think you. Our prayers have been answered. Everybody loves you, Michael. Praise the Lord. You, you have helped so many people. Praise God. You know, God. I, I was listening to the gentleman talk a few minutes ago, and I listened to you talk. You talk about faith, and also dealing with Michael is like dealing like with family, and his word is bond. Your word is bond. You have treated it and went out all out for people that couldn't even get a car 
Just like that lady just was on. She said her daughter needed a car. You were out there, Michael. Not only do you have God with you, you have so many people that love you and are waiting for this day. It's a celebration. It's a celebration. Amen. Amen. It's a celebration. We have to thank everybody. Our prayers have been answered. Jubilee. So many people depend on you. So many livelihoods depend on you. You were you touched everybody. You 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 got so much energy, and God bless you. You know you're a you're 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 some person. You're a you're a man's man. Let's put it that way. God love you. Thank you so much, Anthony. <laughs> Praise you, God. Michael. Good luck to you, man. Thank you, Anthony. Praise God. Thank Praise you. the Lord. God bless you. You, you. You think to yourself, you know this guy because he's over the top for God. But let me tell you something. This is a humble man, and he's not always blowing his horn. <clears throat> And the only time that he's talking about things is he's talking about things to, to benefit ministry. Amen. And Michael does yes. so much for so many people. And, you know, it needs to be said because we've got Christians out there right now that are in need. And we've got other Christians right now that can help. And, you know, we need to follow examples. We have to go to break. I wish we could keep staying here talking, but we're coming right back. Get excited, Arizona. It's a test. It's a test. That's right. Call me right now, 602-274-1360. I want to hear you say, if nothing else today, I want to hear you say, I belong to God and God loves me. That's Christian maturity. Not to, to stand up, have backbone, and proclaim that. I belong to God and God loves me. We're coming right back, Arizona. That's right, Arizona. Whoa! God has blessed me. Romans 8, 28. All good things come together for the good for them that love God. And yes, he has blessed me. That's right. Formerly Avondale Kia in the Avondale Mall is now Michael Crawford Kia. So you know you've always heard me say, always remember, I want to see ya in a Kia. Now you'll be hearing me saying, wow, always remember, Michael Crawford wants to see ya in a Michael Crawford Kia. Oh, wow. Get excited, Arizona. You have just listened to The Michael Crawford Show live on KPXQ, 1360 AM, The Christian Station, every Saturday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. God bless you. Until next Saturday, I love you.